Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Sade from Third Generation Conjure, and I am coming back with another video. I know it has been a while, guys, but I had a lot of people coming on asking me to do the yearly uh, readings for the zodiac signs uh, for 2022. So here we are. So I am going to be reading from um, my tarot deck. This is the African tarot. Um, we have some oracle cards, and then uh, my deck, which is the well-worn path um, deck. So, I really like these decks. So, we're going to see what uh, 2022 holds. And we're going to start with the sign of Aries. Okay. So, uh, we're just going to go over some aspects, maybe some challenges, some things that you may need to be aware of this year. And also, um, just some messages and some advice, um, you know, to get you through this year. And also make sure that um, you check your rising signs and your moon signs. Because sometimes it can resonate a little bit differently, um, just depending on, you know, your different aspects in your birth chart. And I'm going to go over as I'm pulling. I'll probably speed this up. Um, but I will go over as I'm pulling, you know, some things that, um, the aspects that we're going through. Okay. So give me one second and we're going to pull these. All right, y'all. So I'm back. So I didn't even introduce myself. So for those who are new, my name is Sade and I'm part owner of third generation conjure. So if you don't know who we are, we are a spiritual company and we specialize in spiritual supplies catered to the practice of hoodoo. We offer, um, candles oils, um, spiritual services, a lot of things on the site. So just to get that um, cleared up so you guys know who I am, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Just make sure that you like and subscribe. And I'm also going to leave all of our links in the bio uh, for our Instagram. You can follow us there. That's Third Generation Conjure. You can follow us on Facebook, which is Third Generation Conjure as well. And find us on our website if you need any kind of spiritual supplies, services, or any readings. I do offer readings, but they tend to fill up really fast, so I don't have them available all the time. But um, you can find those readings at our website, which is www.thirdgenerationconjure.com. And we do have an Etsy shop, but I do not offer any spiritual services on Etsy, only um, our products. And that is www.thirdgenerationconjure.store. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the Aries 2022 reading. And um, also, guys, it's a lot of cards out here. So I'm going to go through each aspect and what it means. Because if you've gotten a reading from me in the past, or even if um, you've seen one of my yearly readings, I do go over in depth a lot of aspects. Because, you know, doing an outcome and forecast, you know, it can be... Um, reliable and it can be accurate but sometimes we need advice to get to those outcomes or to change things that we may see so i think that's very important to realize even when you're getting a personal reading from a reader nothing is set in stone energy and outcomes can always change depending on these steps that we take okay so we're going to start with the um present situation for aries and for this we have the eight of cups and the four of cups so we'll start with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is all about letting go and turning away. Um, you see this card when you are turning your back on a situation. And it could be something that's hard that a lot of you may be letting go of, letting go of things that are no longer serving you. And I say that because we get the Four right behind it. The Four of Cups represents discontent. And it's also being discontent of a situation or even discontent uh, about where you are in life right now whether that be financially, in a relationship, career. But it looks like uh, those within the sign of Aries are looking to make a change this year, okay? But with the Four of Cups, I do want to point this out. When you look at this card right here, you have three cups right here in the front. And this person back here, they're so upset that they don't have these three cups. They don't see the fourth cup that's extending uh, from the clouds and being offered. So the message here is to also embrace and be grateful for where you are because um, 
you know, regardless of where we are in life, no matter how bad it seems, we can always be worse off. And when you show gratitude, it tends to open up the doors for better opportunities. And it's okay to want to do better and progress, but just also show gratitude and be grateful for where you are right now. All right. So then the next aspect that we're going to go over is some challenges that, um, you know, that you may experience in this coming year. So the first one I have is the card of temperance. And temperance represents balance. It also represents um, patience, okay? So that is one thing with Aries that if you know an Aries, we tend to be, and I'm an Aries myself, but we tend to be very impatient and we want to always rush things and we want things to come to us um, immediately, okay? So this is going to be a challenge for you this year is being patient. And also this is about balance as well. So learning how to balance your life. You know, a lot of times with people under the sign of Aries, they're always like, go, go, go. You know, they get something in their mind and they want to automatically work on it without taking proper steps. So make sure that you just slow down a little bit, learn to balance things, uh, learn to balance your career, your home life, your relationships. Uh, this is a challenge for you this year. So this is going to be about balancing and not trying to do too much too fast. And right behind this, we have the card of water. So water is uh about movement it's the process of movement and it also tells you that action is required to fulfill goals and desires so as an aries myself i do see that a lot of times we'll have so many ideas that our brains will split open but we just don't take the time to sit back and figure out how we're going to get to those steps they may be good ideas but it takes us so long to put it into formation because we're trying to do too much at one time and we just won't sit back and say, hey, I'm going to get this task done and then these are the steps I'm going to take and then I'm going to move to the next task and instead of trying to do 15 tasks at one time, okay? So this is about going with the flow. And also, this is a reminder this year with those under this sign that thoughts become things. So make sure that you are keeping your energy and your thoughts in alignment with your goals in the way that you want your life to go this year. Okay, because a lot of times we don't realize how we manifest things, whether good or bad in our life, but it is very important. And I tell people even coming into this work and this practice that you cannot come in with a lack mindset because that is what you're going to get. So patience, balance, going with the flow and also putting in action towards your goals. All right. So I asked for some underlying roots um, for what's going to be happening this year for those under this sign. And we get the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So I'm going to start with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is also um, going back to this Temperance card, which is balance. This is all about juggling and doing a lot. You see this card come up with people who have a lot going on. They may be working several jobs. You know, it may be somebody who's working a job, running a side business, is a mother. They got kids and sports and they're just all over the place okay so that's going to be some things that are going to influence your year then we get the ace of wands and the ace of wands deals with a new life and this is all about new beginnings and also growth so learning how to balance these things that you have going in your life making some changes and some adjustments if you need to start writing things down in the planner and getting organized that's something that's going to influence your year and how things go and where you won't be so st stressed out throughout the year, okay? I asked um, next how you appear. So how you appear to other people throughout the year. So I get the card of the sun and the card of the witch. Now, witch is not <laughs> what you think it is, but um, the card of the sun, this is all about success and fulfillment. And this is all about being successful, optimistic. So to other people, you feel like you got, you know, I'm going to just say, I feel like you got your shit together when you may be falling apart on the inside, because a lot of us can put on a face that we got everything together. We're cool, calm and collected. And it's internally, we're like falling apart. So this is how you're appearing to other people. But then I also get just uh, the witch card, which is justice is coming. Okay. So this card is a card of energy that is coming back all right so everything that you have dished out 
is coming back to you. So if you're acting in a negative way, then people are going to see that you're getting your karma for the way that you're acting. So if you're doing good, good things are going to happen to you. So whatever it is that you are doing in private and whatever kind of energy you're projecting in that way, that is what others are going to see. So you're going to kind of be in the limelight where people are going to be able to see how you're progressing this year. Or if you're going through tur turmoil, you know, whatever energy you're projecting out, people are going to be able to see it um, from the outside. Okay. All right. So then the next um, cards that I pulled in, um, involve the influencing aspect. So what is influencing your year this year? So I get the card of Potion which the uh, card of potion is remember to practice self-love and then we get the card of judgment all right so once again we'll go back to uh, the potion card first potion card is all about self-love all right and this is also going to influence how your year year goes so you need to make sure that you're keeping yourself um maintained okay whether that is physically whether that is spiritually that's going to influence your year. Make sure that you are taking time to yourself. I know a lot of times, you know, we worry about other people and, um, you know, and sometimes can have a control or influence over other people. But it's also important that you take care of yourself this year because that is going to influence how your year flows as well. Also, I get the card of judgment. So this is judging, being judged or judging others. Kind of be careful with how you judge others this year because sometimes when we judge other people we really don't know the circumstances that they are going through but also with judgment card this is a card of rebirth and it's a card of breaking old habits and starting anew and as i looked at the cards that came up it's going to be a season of like rebirth and renewal for a lot of those within this sign so it's going to be your choice if you want to uh, get out of old bad habits and old outmoded ways of thinking is really your choice and that's going to influence how your year continues to go all right so then next i looked at the aspirations and maybe some concerns for those within the sign this year and i received the pentacle and the knight of wands so we'll start with the pentacle the pentacle is all about manifestation and stability and strength and also protection but this is manifestation in the material world so it looks like a lot of a lot of a lot of people under this sign are more so concerned with material aspects versus um, you know spiritual enlightenment and growth I'm not saying everyone but that looks like that is a um, a theme right so then we get the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, once again, like I said, this is a card of, um, as the other cards that have been showing up, this is a card of rebirth, renewal, new ideas, new experiences, experiencing new things. Um, this is also a card of important goals. So a lot of you want to reach uh, goals that you may have had for years this particular year. And these are some of your aspirations or even some of your concerns where you feel like, you're not uh, moving towards this Knight of Wands. Because when you see Wands, this is all a card of movement. But once again, as we go back to um, this card, which was a challenge this year, this was all about actions that are going to bring about these manifestations. So you can't just sit on your ass. You're going to have to put in some work to see progression. Okay? So like I said, you can have all the great ideas in the world, but... What matters is that you put in the work to get things moving. All right, so then next I pull just some general advice cards. A lot of these are offering advice already that we pull, but these are just some general advice cards for your year going forward. All right, so I get the Ten of Pentacles first. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is all about um, legacies. It's about things that are stable and have the potential for growth and like when you see this card this is like the big money card this is like generational wealth type card and this card represents like several generations of families who may reside in like the same home or may be around each other but this is overall i'm sorry overall the card of material abundance okay also like life transitions things that um have longevity 
okay so it is important that the things that you are doing now is um going to set the tone for future growth so you need to look at things that are going to bring longevity and not quick results okay um whether that's money it could be business ideas right so if you're invested in a business or you're starting a business for instance you want something that is or even like investments you want something that is going to generate you long-term growth even if you don't initially see uh results so that is going to be uh, a focus and something that you need to pay attention to this coming year also if you are in this practice I see this card a lot of times, but like I said, it represents legacies, uh, generations. So I see this card a lot of times representing ancestors. So, um, you know, if you're new coming in or maybe you've been in the practice for a while and you kind of fell off with talking to your ancestors, building that relationship, this is something that um, you need to be focusing on this year. All right, so then the next card that I get is, we'll go over this card is the protest card all right the protest card is it says start a revolution okay this is a card about going against the grain this is about standing up for yourself um also standing up for others now i do see a lot of, and it, it really depends to how your chart influences the aspects of your personality but you know people under the sign of aries they're usually known as like quick temper hot heads things of that nature but I do see, even within myself, that um, in other areas that I know, we may have quick tempers, but a lot of times we hold a lot of things in and it takes a lot to kind of get us to our breaking point. This year, it's like, say no to bullshit, okay? Stand up for yourself, um, stand up for others. Whatever is going on, it's important that you speak your mind this year, okay? And then we get, I'm going to go over this card. I'll save this one for last. Then we get the card of the universe. And the universe, once again, is like this whole reading has been saying, this is about balance. And this is also about not forgetting the big picture, but also, uh, you know, showing gratitude for where you are now. And then this card, and I saved this one for last, this is about divine feminine expression. So whether you're male or female, this is embracing your feminine energy, okay? Um, a lot of people under the sign of Aries, like I said, a lot of people get the um, conception that they are hot-headed or, you know, that kind of fiery energy. So it's more masculine. So this is about uh, expressing and um, kind of, uh, what is the word? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the word, kind of embracing your feminine side and your feminine, feminine energy. This also is a card of paying attention to details versus just the concept. So, like I said, a lot of people under this sign, you know, they have ideas. They want to go, 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 put it in a formation, and they don't want to take the necessary steps it is to get to this goal. They want to kind of rush it. So, this is about taking a step back, paying attention to details, also seeing the big picture, but paying attention to those details um, so that you can be where you need to be. All right. So, I'm a, you know, I'll give you an example. Let's, for instance, like if you're starting a business, for instance, um, instead of, you know, say you're selling a, a product or a service or something and you don't go through the necessary steps to, you know, get your business license, make sure, um, that all of your legal documents are in formation before you launch something out and you jump out there. That's kind of like the message. Make sure that you're taking those steps that you need so you don't have problems in the future. Okay. So then I asked for some things to expect this year. And first I get the pentagram. The pentagram is all about creativity and that has been a theme for um, a lot of these cards that I've seen. Some creativity that's coming and this is also a card of manifesting. But when you see this, and this is manifestation within the material world, but when you see this card too as an outcome, you also need to balance your material gain with your spiritual values. So um, basically this card is your ability to manifest and get what it is that you desire. But also don't forget your emotional and spiritual needs while trying to chase your dream and trying to chase material things. Then I get the Nine of Cups, which I like seeing this, especially as an outcome card, because this is a card of your wishes 
and your desires being fulfilled. So once again, I do see a lot of people um, coming into their goals, especially as it relates to work-related matters. The Eight of Pentacles is the work card, and this deals with the beneficial use of talents. Um, it deals with new jobs, um, education, just kind of um, fulfilling fulfilling your dreams as far as work is concerned, but this is also being kind of recognized for your work too. So I do see a lot of people getting what they want, but make sure that you're not neglecting your spiritual and your emotional needs to chase these material things, okay? So that was all, guys. So I appreciate you um, checking us out if you have any questions if you want to book a reading you can find me at www.thirdgenerationconjure.com and um, like i said if you need any spiritual supplies you can find us there or you can find us on our etsy shop which is www.thirdgenerationconjure.store and until next time guys bye bye